welcome all of you nana here and then i am going to begin my next online training on scm basics actually so let me go there and then share my screen now so scm basics the one so if you write on the url fine it is oraclenana.com slash scm basics fine capital s cm scm is capital is no b is also capital is fine so if you write it oraclenana.com slash scm basics my website will come right and right SEM basics, fine. So here I'm now teach you, going to teach you seven basic topics actually. SEM, seven basic topics I'm beginning about. One of the miscellaneous receipt accounting. One of the purchasing accounting, which includes the receipt accounting as well as the cost accounting. And then uh, your receipt accounting reconciliation is also considered on this one. And then interrog accounting. And then transfer orders. Self service procurement is a big, big topic. And then sourcing is the next one. And then procurement contract is the final one. So these seven topics I'm planning to cover in five weeks, if we can know, five weekends is the one. So it's a very low cost one. So it is mainly meant only for the, what I was the beginners, basically. <clears throat> Fine. Uh, you'll be capable to expose the application to this code. Find this uh, suitable for beginners. And then even experienced people will now find certain amount of value addition to the knowledge, actually. And then there will be a lot of uh, participants who will be there, who will be exchanging their experiences, basically. There is no prerequisite for uh, understanding this training program. This starts on Saturday, the 13th of July, actually. So it starts at it. It's only on Saturdays and Sundays. It will be from 6 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. India. It will be for five weekends, actually. Fine. So Indian time, you have to put on the browser India time and then identify the offset with your local time, actually, if you're in Romania. So find out like this now. We'll have a coffee break after every one hour. So from 6 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. on every Saturday and Sunday, beginning 13th of July, it is going to begin now. Fine about us. And then the course fee is 2,500. There are, there, is an ex, there are three exclusions there. One is what? I am not yet learned the responsive self-service procurement. So as and when I learn it, I will be posting a video. I have not yet learned actually. The punch-outs and then the transparent punch-outs. So these are the three exclusions of this training. So if you have any specific requirement, please talk to me. I will now let you. Right? So please speak to me if you have any expectations before joining the training. Right? So These are all the one. Kind of, so you can, uh, this is my mail ID. This is my number actually. So you can make a payment by three different methods, actually one by UPA payment, <clears throat> fine. And then there's a name, and then there's a UPA ID. Or register my bank account at one of the banks, basically I've got four banks, they can register and then make a payment. Or you can even click on the payment gateway. So the payment gateway will now give you debit card, credit card, UPA, everything will be available. And click on this. And then uh, now what I'm going to be showing you, this now fine, put your name, email ID and phone number, and then click on next and then go and then make a payment on the payment gateway actually. So we can even pay by a credit card, debit card. It even accepts the uh, broad cards also, provided you have a two-factor authentication, actually. Right. So if you don't have a two-factor authentication, then what happens uh, this uh, uh, payment gateway will not accept it. So uh, in that case, what happens, you can even go via PayPal, actually. So via PayPal, you can very well make a payment if you have a PayPal. If none of them find uh, you, if you have any issues on this, please write to me. We'll not try to see what how, how best we can solve your payment issues, actually. And then uh, since uh, what happens, uh, there will be too many participants which will be registering. So once when it reaches 100, I will be closing the registration basically. And then you put a message to me on the WhatsApp and then uh, get a confirmation back from me that you are registered for the course. So that is very important. Otherwise, what happens your payment? Uh, I will not even remove all the payment links actually after it reaches 100 actually. So five weekends actually. And then you can even look at the agenda over here. The agenda is here. The border is a seven page agenda. So I will now open up an Excel sheet and then show it to you. Click on it. I will now open up an Excel sheet. So I will be creating a legal user and then I will now first of all get a branched enterprise structure now. Fine to begin with. What I was a branched enterprise structure with the, our own inventory all now. Fine. I will not wait. I will not get a user now. Fine. A legal user will be created with all the roles and then the location and other things will be created. And then afterwards, after having created everything, <clears throat> what happens? I will now go for the first topic of what? Miscellaneous receipt accounting. Miscellaneous receipt accounting. You can even download that page from this page. Yeah, okay. there's a download icon. If I click on the download and then look at it now, and it will actually place. So first of all, we'll now perform the costing setups for accounting. Costing is a must actually. So once the costing is done, then I will now do the accounting of it. And then I will now change the item cost also. I'll be demonstrating on average costing. Then purchasing accounting has got receipt accounting as well as cost accounting. Receipt accounting will be covering the receipt accounting reconciliation also. It's fine. So they'll be there. <clears throat> you can go there and see. And the next is what? Interval accounting. Interval accounting is a very tough one. Yeah. And then uh, this will also be taught to you when we complete interrupt accounting. So on accounting front, one is the miscellaneous, and then one is the receipt accounting, one is the cost accounting, and then interrupt accounting. So there are four topics on the accounting perspective. The next one is the transfer orders. Fine. 
and then we will now have a look at the interest of benefit as well also fine that will be covered and then afterwards the fifth of five of seven will be self service procurement so you can have a look at it but the self service procurement i am not uh, yet learned the responsive self service procurement it is called rssp i am yet to learn it so once when i learn it i will now what happens put it a video on the youtube actually mm -hmm. so go there so it's all there fine next is what sourcing so in the stage sourcing one of the single stage rfp will be taught and then afterwards you will be having a look at the two stage rfp and then finally, what happens? You now have a request for information as well as a reverse option also, and everything will be covered. And then once we yeah. discovered the procurement contracts is the next pillar actually. Mm -hmm. Right. The three of the procurement pillars are covered in this training now. For that moment, so it's all there. It's very exhaustive, and then you will not definitely find a lot of useful information. And then those who are really fresh, they they we don't expect anything. What happens? Any prerequisites from them, and so they can very well follow it. Only thing is, it's very vast. So so much of the topics will be there, and so you have to practice it. As and when it appears now, fine. So this way, what happens? So you're doing it now, fine. So best wishes for a, what happens? A, yeah, excellent learning. I am one of the best trainers in the world, and then I'll be giving you a lot of inputs for you. <clears throat> so bye for now, and then uh, you write to me, and then uh, if you have any any queries, what happens? You write to me uh, in WhatsApp or mail, fine. So that what happens? I will not clarify it all, such. <clears throat> so bye for now.